Hey yo what's up guys and welcome to my new video. Today another unboxing video and we will unbox my new gaming notebook. I decided to get a gaming notebook because I'm at the university, I travel much around and so I decided it has to be a lightweight, cool looking, high end or mid end gaming notebook. And this is why I've chosen the MSI G70. So now enough of talking and let's take a look at the box. So here we can see the box from the outside, here you can see it says top layer, top choice, so this is a high performance product made by MSI. We can also see that it is Energy Star qualified and we have a killer networking card and a Steel Series keyboard, so great features for gamers. Okay, and now let's talk about the specifications, so let's turn the box around and check out the specifications, so here we go. So this one comes with a 17.3 inch full HD LED display. The CPU is a Intel Core i7 4700MQ processor which scales up from 2.4 to 3.2 GHz. The GPU is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 765M which has 2 GB of GDDR5 RAM. The hard disk contains 500 GB and it comes with 4 GB of DDR3 low voltage RAM. It also comes with a DVD Super Multi Drive and it comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on board. The OS is free DOS because if you purchase it with free DOS it's a little bit cheaper but you have to install Windows on your own. And it comes with a blue backlight keyboard and the battery contains 6 cells to provide good battery lifetime. So enough of the specs and now let's open up the box, so here we go. Ok so this is the box from the front side and now let's open it up. So I'm really excited because this is my first new notebook after 7 years, so here we go. And here we can see the notebook, it's in this plastic bag here, but before we take a look at the notebook itself, we will take a look at the accessories we get with the notebook. So let's take a look at this one, I think this should be the battery, so let's get it out of the air buffer. And as you can see, this is the 6 cell battery, looks pretty awesome, we'll later take a closer look on it, so maybe let's take this beside. Um, further in the box we can see a charging cable, so let's take a look on it, it's in this bag here. And if you now think, what the fuck, why does this power adapter look like this, then you will may notice that this one is a European power adapter and this maybe look different like in your country. Then further in the box we have the power supply, so let's take a look at it. And as you can see, this is a pretty slim power supply. Um, the power supply from my first gaming notebook was quite big and it was just like a brick, but this one is really small, so I think this is really great. Then maybe let's check out what other stuff here we got in the box, so there is nothing left. Maybe here is something under the notebooks, so let's take it out. Okay, here we go. And further in the box we have a... what's this? Okay, it's a CD, a user manual and some other stuff, so let's get this shit out of the bag. Okay, so here we have um, some user manuals, this looks like a poster or something, and we also have here a warranty card, so you will have to keep it for your warranty, and we also have here a user manual, so nothing special, and we have a warranty service book, so you have two years limited warranty. Okay, so basically that was everything which was here in the box, and now let's get out the notebook and get it out of the plastic bag. So let's take this beside. And I'm really really excited how thick this notebook will be because um, all my other gaming notebooks were really big and I didn't enjoy them. But so yeah, I'm really excited, so let's get it out. Okay. So here we can see the top side of the MSI G70 and as you can see it looks awesome. We have this glossy finish here on the top. So now let's take a closer look on that. And it looks pretty awesome because you can see all the lights on the glossy surface and the colors look pretty awesome, it's that black with the red lines but you can see all the fingerprints on that glossy surface. So for now I really love it but I think in a few days or weeks I will hate it because I have to clean all the fingerprints on it. And now let's take a closer look at the next side which is the front side where we can see the status LEDs, so here we go. So this is the front side, here we can see the um, hard disk LED, the Bluetooth LED, the Wi-Fi LED, the battery um, charging LED, then those two LEDs I think they're for the display and here we have a sleep mode LED. Um, also um, it looks great with that red line here and here you can also um, open up your display. Ok so now let's take a closer look at the next side where we have some connectors. So on this side we have a USB 2.0 port and the super multi disk drive. Also here's another USB 2.0 port and then here on the right side we have a VGA connector to connect your notebook to a display. 
right to this connector we have a ethernet connector this is from the killer network card and here you can connect your ethernet cable then here on this side we have a locking port so you can lock your notebook we also have a dc in check so you can charge your battery then we have the ventilation holes right to the ventilation holes we have a hdmi port so you can connect the screen to your notebook we also have two usb 3.0 connectors then we have connectors for headphones and microphone and we also have a sd card reader so now let's take a closer look at the back side so here on the back side we have one and two solid speakers to have a great sound then here we can see um, the cover for the ram we also have here the cover for the cpu and gpu then here under this cover there should also be the hard drive and if you want to replace the hard drive or the ram you just have to take this plate here off and then you can change them separately so here on the sticker it says warranty void if you remove it so if you open this up your warranty is gone but i think changing the ram or the hard disk doesn't void the warranty so also we have here some solid stands to have a good ventilation and a good stand okay so now let's take a look at the front side so here's the front side and it looks and feels pretty awesome because the whole upper case is made out of solid bursted aluminium and it has also a glossy design so you can see all the fingerprints on the top case and here we also have the steel series keyboard so this is made for gamers it has a blue led backlight and it feels a little bit like a macbook um, keyboard um, also the keys look a little bit like on a macbook and also we have here a numpad, so this is pretty common on 17 inch notebooks. And now let's take a look at the buttons here on the left top corner. So here we have two buttons. The right one is for the LED backlight of the keyboard. So here you can switch it on or turn it off. And the left button is for the fan. So if you press it, the fan starts to rotate at full RPM and it keeps the system cool even if you overclock it or play games in high quality. And we also have some front speakers under the grid here and on the other side we have the power button. So here is the power button, it also has a LED in the button and if you press it you can turn your system on or off. Then here on the top side we can see the webcam. The webcam should have 2 megapixels and we also have here two microphones for chatting in Skype or any other program. Then on the top here we also have a LED which shows if the webcam is switched on or off. And then on the front side we have the touchpad. The touchpad is also made out of solid aluminium and it's pretty awesome because you don't have any buttons but if you press left or right you have a left and a right mouse button. You can also scroll or zoom in and zoom out. There's a really great software which enables all the features and it also has a glossy look so you can also see the fingerprints on it. Then now let's take a look at the battery. So here we have the 6 cell battery. It's a pretty small battery and which should have a capacity at around 5000 milliamp hours. So um, yeah, let's take a closer look on it. So here we can see the stick of the battery, 11.1 volts, 4400 milliamp hours, which results in 49 watt hours. So it's a pretty solid battery, which should power your notebook through about 1.5 to 2 hours. And the battery looks pretty solid and it's also a small size so um, it looks pretty good and now let's take a closer look at the power supply. And here comes the power supply. I'm really impressed by the size of this one because it's a really thin power supply. Most gaming notebooks have really big power supplies but this is quite small. Then here we have the DC in connector so it's a standard connector. And on the other side we have the free pin connector where you um, plug in your cable to connect it to your power socket. Okay, so now let's take a closer look at the specifications. So here we have the stickers. As you can see, it's rated from 100 to 240 volts. So the total power output is 6.15 amps at 19.5 volts. So this should be something around 120 watts. So this is a quite solid power output for such a small power supply. And now let's go to the notebook and attach the battery. So here we have the back of the notebook and now let's insert the battery. So just insert it and then push it down until it snaps in. After the battery is in, you can lock your battery with those sliders here. Just make sure if you take out the battery or insert it that you don't break the sliders here. So you have to unlock it if you want to take it out or also unlock it if you want to put it in and then you can relock it. Okay, so let's start the notebook for the first time. And the first thing we will do is enter the BIOS and check out the features. So maybe if there's an unlocked BIOS, if we can overclock it, check out the temps and many other stuff. So here we go. Okay, so we're now in the BIOS. As you can see, the BIOS is made by American Megatrends and here we have different tabs so let's start with the main tab here you can adjust the system date and the system time we also have here the SATA information here we can see the um, multi-drive and we can see the 500 gigabyte hard disk 
So let's go back. Then we have system information. Here we can see the information of the BIOS version, BIOS build. Here we can also see the CPU. So we can see that it has the i7 and we can also see that it has 4 GB of DDR3 RAM. If we go to advanced, we can adjust things like the PC latency timer. Um, we can also adjust the SATA mode selection from IDE to AHCI or RAID. We also have a eye charger, so you can charge your USB devices while it's in sleep mode. Then we also have here um, the USB configuration. Um, here you can just adjust um, the USB ports, so you can enable or disable USB 3.0 support and also many other stuff. Then here on this tab you can update your BIOS, so this is very easy, just plug in a USB drive with the BIOS and then you can start the UE5 BIOS update. Then here under boot we have several boot options, so you can adjust them. Under security you can advise a password and here under save and exit you can just save your changes or load setup defaults. Um, I'm a little bit um, disappointed because there is no modded BIOS on it, so um, you can't um, overclock your CPU or adjust um, the settings of your graphics card. But I'm pretty sure that there exists a modded BIOS which you can flash and then you can overclock your CPU. Okay, so now I will install Windows for the first time and then we will do some benchmarks, so just stay tuned. Okay, so we're now on the gaming notebook, Windows 8, and now let's open up CPU set to check out the processor, so here we go. Okay, so here we can see the Intel Core i7-4700MQ, codename Haswell, the maximum TDP is around 47 watts, and the core speed is always between 3.2 and 3.4 GHz. So the mainboard also made by MSI and the memory is 4 GB of DDR3 RAM. The DRAM frequency is at about 800 MHz, which um, equals 1600 MHz. So um, if we check out the slots, um, there's only one module and this module has 4 GB of DDR3 RAM. And we have two graphics cards, we have the Intel HD 4600 which is in the CPU and we have the GTX 765M for games. Okay, so now let's open up the MSI Combustor. So this is basically a um, graphics card um, tuning tool, so you can overclock your graphics card in this tool here. So as we can see, here we have the GTX 765M. The memory size is 2 GB of GDDR5 RAM, and currently in idle the temp temperature is at about 40 degrees. Here we can also run a stress test or um, do some other stuff. And as you can see in the MSI Afterburner we can adjust the core clock, so overclock it, and we can also do this with the memory clock. But I wouldn't recommend setting it to the full core and memory clock because you don't know if that is stable or not. But I think in the MSI Afterburner you can only um, adjust it in a stable range, so, so also maximum should be stable, so let's try to apply this here. And as you can see in the diagram the values for the core and memory clock jump to the um, set values. Okay, so let's close this and now let's go to 3 Mark 11 and run a little benchmark. So um, I'm really excited on how many points this notebook will score. So let's run this benchmark and after it's done I will be back. Okay, so the benchmark has finished now and now let's open up the browser and check out the results. So here we go. So here we can see that this notebook scored about 3900 um, points. So this is better than 22% of all results. But a higher end or mid range gaming laptop should reach about 4700 points. And as you can see, um, a notebook which has a 7970M should reach about 4700 points. But um, on this device, definitely the bottleneck is the RAM, because you only have 4 GB of DDR3 RAM, and the internal graphic cards takes about 2 GB of them, and then you only have um, about 2 or 3 GB. So as you can see, um, the GE70 in the test reaches about 4100 points. So if you upgrade the RAM, overclock it a little bit, then you should get to um, 4200 to 4300 points in 3D Mark. Okay, so now let's take a look at the LED backlight. So if you press the button once, it lightens up the full keyboard. So this looks pretty awesome. But if you press the button once again, then it only lightens up the gaming area, so just the buttons you need for gaming. And if you press it once again, it shuts off the LED backlight. If you press the fan button, the fan starts to rotate at full RPM and cool down the system. So you will now hear a little noise test, so just here.
Okay, so that was the noise test and this was also the last part of the video. So we are now done with the unboxing and review. I hope you enjoyed it and now here comes my conclusion about this notebook. So I really enjoy this gaming notebook because it's lightweight, it has a great design. As you can see this blue LED backlight combined with that black glossy look and that bursted aluminium here on the top looks just awesome. Besides this it's also very fast and not very expensive. I just paid around 1100 euro for this so that isn't really much for a gaming notebook. But there are also some negative points because you have to upgrade it to at least 8GB of RAM. 4GB of RAM is not that much and many games were laggy with 4GB so I had to upgrade it. Also the fan is a little bit noise in idle mode and the DC in check isn't placed very well because it's placed right to the ventilation holes and so the cable gets sometimes a little bit hot. But beside those three points I really enjoy this gaming notebook and I think I've made the right decision. So I can really recommend this gaming notebook to you if you're searching for a gaming notebook which shouldn't cost more than 1200 euros. And basically now I'm done with my unboxing and review of the MSI G70. I hope you enjoyed it and as always see you again in my next videos. Bye guys!